Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to share your portfolio pages with other Mahara users as well as people who don't actually have access to Mahara. So if you click on your portfolio and then you've got shared by me and this is a list of all your pages and collections that you can share. The but you can't you can only share pages by themselves if they're not part of a collection. If they're part of a collection then you can you have to share the entire collection for people to be able to see that page. And the process for sharing a page or a collection is pretty much the same. If you click on the little key here underneath edit access you'll be greeted with this page and it does list your collections and pages there so you can tick and untick whichever ones you want them to. These are quick links that you can use to share it with the public or the logged in users or all of your friends. This one you can share with the entirety of Newman University, which is probably not something I'd recommend. Again, you can automatically share pages with all your groups or the, the list of groups here. I've only got the one, which is why it says it there. Okay, that means if you want to give wide range of access and you can use those, but I would generally recommend using this here where you can give it to individual people. And you've got the option of groups, users and friends. I'm going to go with users because I don't have this person set up as a friend. I'm going to go search for their name and then click on go. And then you'll bring the, it up there, the person up there. So you just click the plus next to them. And now it will show that they've been added to that page. You can give them time constraints on their access. And when you want to remove it, you just click on the delete. But I'm going to give her access to the collection as well as that individual page there. So I'll click on save. Okay, now you can see that Naz has access to my collection as well as that specific page. So when she logs into Mahara and looks for me, she'll be able to see those pages. But I've decided I don't want her to have the page where it's off just the collection. So I'll click on the key again. This time I'm going to untick the collection. I just click on that remove button there and then save. Now you can see Nazrin can see my collection, which is pages one and two, but she can't see page three. The other way to share a page or a collection is using a secret URL. And you can supply this to anybody. They don't actually have to have access to Mahara. It essentially works like a web link. So you click on that and you add a new secret URL. And then if I copy that URL, and I just pop it into another browser so it doesn't pick up that I'm logged in already. You can see it can see my pages as it would normally, as if anyone in logged on to Mahara would be. They can place feedback and print it off, etc. Now that's someone who doesn't need to be logged into Mahara to see it. So that might be useful for maybe Excel examiners or potential employers. What I will say though is if the reason it add, lets you add them rather than just giving you a default one is that say for example you just didn't want that person to be able to have access anymore. If you delete that URL, if they then try to go to it, let me just open up Internet Explorer again, I'll paste that URL back in there again and it's bringing me a login thing to Mahara because that URL no longer relates to any pages so, it can, so that person can no longer see your collection of pages. So that's why you can have more than one. You can set a different one to each different person that you want to see it. If you have any issues with sharing with tutors or other users, etc., please contact us at A Learning, and we can help. We'll do our best to help.